it's me, Louie Bite. So the other day I was out with my parents and we happened to drive by a McDonald's. I saw that they were having a special promotion with Adventure Time Happy Meal toys. So I was like, oh my gosh, I have to have a Happy Meal. I don't care if I'm an adult, it's just something I need to do. To the best of my knowledge, Happy Meal toys aren't usually like amazing in quality or anything like that. But when I opened it up, I got these two adorable little Adventure Time figurines, one of Flame Princess and one of Gunther. And then I realized that there were a whole bunch of other ones of the other characters and I got super duper excited and of course being the impulsive person that I am I went out to find every single one of the figurines that they have. One of the great things about McDonald's is that you can actually buy the toys themselves without having to buy the Happy Meal and it just costs 99p here in the UK which is where this promotion is happening. So I went around to four different restaurants and I managed to collect all 16 of the bags and each of the bags comes with two characters and they all have their own color so you know if you're getting a repeat. So for example if you know that you don't have the red bag you can just go up to the counter and ask them if they have it. The staff I found were really helpful and were willing to sort of look through boxes to find what I needed. And today I was thinking that I would open them up with you guys so that we can see which colored bag comes with which characters. So if you want a specific one instead of just the whole set, you'll know which one to look for. So Gunther and Flame Princess came in a dark black bag. I don't have the bag now since I opened it on the spot, but it's the only black bag there is. So this is the first one I'm gonna open. I don't know what's inside. Oh my gosh, why is this so exciting? So this one came with Peppermint Butler, and each of the bags come with two characters, and I absolutely adore Peppermint Butler because he is tiny and evil, not that I can relate. <coughs> and this one, I think, is the Snail. They also all come with some stickers that you can put on them to add more detail, like their clothes and stuff like that. Next, I'll do the green bag, and this is the dark green bag. So this one has Engagement Ring Princess, who looks super adorable, and her hair has actually got glitter in it, which is really cute. And then there is Jake. This is one of the other green. As you can see, it's kind of more of a lime green color. This one comes with a banana guard, which is really cool. And, ooh, Marceline. Oh, she's so cute. Her hair is also a bit glittery. So this is the third one that I would consider green. I guess it's more of a teal color. This one has, wow, this one has the Lich which actually looks really, really creepy and awesome. And the other one in here is Wildberry Princess, super cute. I think these are so detailed. Like, I know that they're not made of vinyl like those pop vinyl figurines, but they're almost as good in my opinion. And for 99p for two of them, like, that's such good value. So moving on to the blue ones, there are three different blue bags. So this is the light blue bag, and this one has tree trunks, and Scientist Princess Bubblegum, which is super cute. I actually cosplayed Princess Bubblegum before and I love her. The kind of regular true blue bag. This one has <laughs> Magic Man and Lumpy Space Princess. Oh my god! <laughs> so lame. And then this is the final blue one. It's like a really dark navy blue. This one has Nectar, which is the little robot and Finn in his pajamas, oh my gosh. That's adorable. <laughs> Look how cute it is. <laughs> then there is the white bag, which has another Finn, which I guess is the regular Finn, with his derpy little smile. And, oh my gosh, Billy, which actually looks really cool, with his huge head. Next, I will do the yellow bag. I think this is Bumblebee Princess. I think it'll look better if you stick the stickers on it because it has all of her little black stripes as stickers. And, aw, Ice King. Looking grumpy as usual. I love Ice King. Then there are like four that are kind of orangey reddish colored. So this is the lightest one, which is kind of a peachy orange. And this one has Cinnamon Bun, as well as Princess Bubblegum. And I guess this is the normal Princess Bubblegum. Then the other orange one is more of a standard normal orange color. And this one has Bimo and Hot Dog Princess. Oh my god, these are so cute. I'm losing my mind. <sighs> then there's another one which is kind of a darker orange, almost reddish color. And this one has Choose Goose. <laughs> Ridiculous. And... Oh, it has 
Lemon Grab. Lemon Grab is my favorite character because everybody says that I am like him and you can take that however you want. And the final reddish one is, I guess, red. Just red. It's kind of red. This one has Ricardio, who is creepy, and another Marceline. This I think is more of like a classic Marceline with the gray. Then there is a pink bag and this one has Ice King without a crown and Lady Rainicorn. Again, I think you have to put her stripes on yourself. And finally, there is a purple bag and in this one we have huh, Cupcake Man and another Jake, which is kind of winking. So those are all of the figurines and all of the different bags that they come in. Let me know in the comments which ones are your favorites. Mine are probably lemon grab and I really like Finn in the pajamas. I thought that was really adorable and sweet. Another cool thing about these, though I don't really know the point, is that you can take off their heads and kind of mix and match. Though I have no idea why you would do that, but I guess it's one of those things that kids like to do since, you know, this is made for kids. Me on the other hand, I'm gonna put them on a shelf and stare at them, because that's what I do. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and hopefully I will see you all very soon. <sighs> Got too excited. <laughs>